Suppose you want to cross a traffic separation scheme. How do you do it? A. At as small an angle as practicable. Or B. At a right angle. This is too easy for you, I presume. And yes, it is at a right angle to the general direction of the traffic flow. Now, how do you actually do it? And what if there's a current? Would you cross like A, compensate for drift and stay at your right angle course, or B, stay at a right angle heading and ignore the drift? A lot of seafarers are still confused about this, so save this video for your future reference, and if you'd like to learn more reel by reel, follow me. Now, let's read Colreg first. Rule 10 says a vessel shall, so far as practicable, avoid crossing traffic lanes, but if obliged to do so, shall cross on a heading as nearly as practicable at right angles to the general direction of traffic flow. So yes, option B is correct. But why? This is because if you compensate for your drift, then you might alter course, which could confuse the other ships about your intention. Listen to this radio call from the Singapore Strait. Yang Qingdu, Yang Qingdu, you're a counter blue, the traffic. Yes, sir, it is. Why you are countering the blue traffic? Why? What is your intention? You are counter the blue traffic. Uh, not so now we need to crossing. Crossing we are not early after. Okay, go we try to crossing. So to avoid that, Colreg says cross at a right angle heading. Other than that, when you cross at a right angle heading, you'll be able to cross faster, saving time from disrupting the flow of traffic. Now, what about the drift? This is where your skill as a navigator comes in. Before you cross, take note of the current and its direction and compensate for that possible drift prior to crossing the TSS so you'll end up at your destination. I'm currently making a detailed guide for each rule. You may subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll get notified once they are posted.